we're going to be checking the firmware and updating it. And when we watch everybody do this, they basically uh, make sure they know where they're going in the camera before they do a video. So we swipe down and we're going to look for the gear and we press it. And we're going to just keep on scrolling till we see something that will say about camera information. We have a serial number, version 1. Dot four, dot three, two, dot four, and that is our firmware. So what we're going to do is shut the camera off. We're going to take the SDXC card out. We're going to load in firmware firmware 1.481 we're going to just drag the bin file in we're going to eject the card With the names facing to the front of the camera, we're going to load our SDXC card in. Make sure it's firmly pressed in. And we're going to turn the power on. Checking firmware. Normally you would see some lights flashing on certain cameras and just let this do its test, see how long it takes. The camera turns the uh, screen off. It's a blue light. We don't need to turn it to the front like a GoPro. And we just sit and wait until firmware is loaded. We have a light that goes off, comes back on, a chime, camera is on, bright light. And now we have a battery indicator that we did not have before. Maybe we should have the indication telling it's 100%. That is something I did not see with the original firmware. So if we double tap to enter exit, the full screen preview is telling us what to do. And then we have our black bars. I want to go in and I want to look for the gear again and I want to scroll till I see my camera information. Firmware 1.4.81.4. We are completely loaded. I'm going to do something a little extra and do this again for all. We're going to press on the gear. What we wanted to do was look for the general and we want to go into gyro calibration. It's telling us we need to put our camera with the lens facing to the floor and then getting your hands off and let the camera calibrate. That's how you should have seen the firmware load up. It takes about 20 seconds. We are 100% calibrated. And this is something you should do when you get your camera right out of the box. That is how simple it is to load firmware.